Hello there once again. This is Yikao Joe again on Guy Talk. I'm excited about today. I want to share something with you today that is exciting and it's very, very bright. It will set you free in an awesome, wonderful way. Now, um, I want to celebrate those of you, you are new subscribers. Yay, thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. Please, I want those of you who watch this, encourage others to subscribe. Share these videos on your other social media platform. It will help you to come in um, into this and to watch this. Also, please, today as I share this, I want to hear your comments. Like this, uh, share this, and make sure that you also hit the bell, notification bell, so you know when I come up with another video. Let's get into this right now. How do you judge prophecies how do you judge prophecies now should god i've already talked somewhere in this channel does god lead his children by prophecy the answer is no in the new testament god does not lead us we have a better covenant based on better promises and when he wants to lead you he does not lead you by prophecy he will not send you to a prophet you should not be going to prophets to look for divine guidance or anybody that says they are seers or prophets or whatever no the primary way god will lead you is by the inward witness if you are saved you have the inward witness with you however there are there's a prophetic gift in the new testament and there are genuine prophets in the new testament so god can give other forms of uh, divine guidance or instruction to confirm what he has first of all told you so that by the matter of two or three witnesses every word can be established you can be sure that this is god speaking to me so sometimes god can give somebody a prophecy for you but always remember it is always unsolicited confirmation god did not say you should go and solicit for it but god is the sovereignty will just pick somebody probably they don't even know you have that issue and god will give them a word of prophecy for you remember again the prophecies of god they are unto edification exhortation and comfort always pro pro positive it will edify you, exhort you, and comfort you. That is in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. That means a prophecy that talks about death, destruction, evil coming to you. It is satanic. It's not of God. Cancel it. Reject it. But the prophecies from God will edify you. That means it will build you up. It will exhort you. That means it will draw you closer to God. And then it will comfort you. It will make you feel better and more at peace and more at joy. Always realize that. But not only that, there are, about, there are a few other keys. Even if the person is saved and it's a genuine gift of prophecy coming to you, you should still judge it. That's what the Bible teaches, that you should judge. How do we judge? Number one, does the prophecy glorify Christ? When the prophecy is coming to you, does it glorify Christ? Is it saying something that will bring glory and honor to Christ? That's the first thing you should check out for. Number two, does this prophetic word that you are hearing, you are listening to, or they are giving you, does it line up with the scriptures? For instance, if you are already married, somebody cannot come and prophesy to you that God wants to give you a second wife. No, that does not line up with scriptures. When God created Adam, God gave him only one wife. That's the perfect plan of God forever and ever. All right. So, does it line up with the scriptures? If somebody comes and prophesies, for instance, and says that, that Jesus is not the only way to God the Father, that does not line up with the scriptures. Cancel it. It is not from the Spirit of God. All right. Next is, uh, what is the fruit in the life of the person prophesying? A person that lives an immoral life, a person that is an adulterer, a person that's a polygamist, can, is, uh, and they are not prophesying to you, cancel it. If they are living a sinful life, cancel it. God has many, many more people, righteous, honorable servants of his that he can send to you to give you a prophetic word. So keep that in mind. What kind of fruit is in their life? The Bible says by their fruit you shall know them. What kind of fruit does their life produce? What kind of testimony uh, does their life produce? All right. Then, do they, are they about money? The person prophesying, are they about getting money from you? Some people are just out to prophesy money from your pocket. So always know that one of the signs of a familiar demon, a familiar spirit, is that they will bring gain through the so-called 
supernatural activity that they are doing. You see that in Acts 16, there was a girl that was saying the right thing concerning Paul and his team, but it was a demon, a familiar spirit. One thing the Bible said about that girl and that spirit was that it, it, she brought her master great money, a lot of money, because she was always, in quote, prophesying. So God never uses his gifts to generate money and line up people's pockets. No way. Freely we have received. Freely give. Paul said that we make sure that the gospel is of no charge to anybody. So keep that in mind. Then, these are their prophecies fulfilled. That's another key. This person, if they say they're prophets and it's a genuine, saved environment, but they are, are their prophecies fulfilled. That's another thing you want to check out. And then, does it bring bondage or freedom to you? When they prophesy, does it bring fear, bondage of fear? Or does it bring release and peace and freedom? Check, how do you feel in your spirit about what they are saying? Um, and then, does it line up with what God, does it bear witness with what God has already spoken to you before? Does it bear witness? Does it bear witness? If it doesn't bear witness, put it on the shelf. All right. And then, um, and that's the final thing I want you to think of the most especially in your spirit does he agree with it is it something that you, are, you know or you are believing God for or God has been dealing with you about then you can say that this is the right prophecy just to confirm what God is speaking to you don't just go to people don't consult people don't go to people that say bring money I want to see something for you it is unscriptural it's unbiblical it's not for this new covenant alright may God bless you and may God keep you in Jesus' name. This is Kao Joe again saying, like, share, subscribe. Till I see you next time in my next video, God bless you.